What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Canal Games, and we have another episode of Football Manager 2017. As I try to take my created club, Kel Independent, from the 22nd tier of English football to however far I can make it. Um, we will see how it goes. So since we left off last time, I've played three matches, um, but we've won, lost, and drew our matches. We won 3-1 over West Hothley. Um, Ryan Salmon with two more goals, Paul Houghton with a goal. Um, against Stones, this one I didn't really go how I expected, to be entirely honest. Um, we are favored to win pretty much every game that we've entered so far quite handily, and this one just didn't go our way. We just couldn't really defend, gave away a penalty late. Um, Ryan Wilkinson brought us back a little bit, but it just it just wasn't meant to be. Um, I've changed our tactics a little bit to get away from the counterattacking football, although I really like counterattacking football. A lot of people... Um, Possession-based football seems to be a lot more popular, but I kind of like the the fast-moving attack-based um, style. But I might have to get away with that, uh, away from that, because it doesn't seem to be working all that much. Um, against Heath Rangers, our main sort of uh, uh, competitors to go up this season, um, we ended up drawing two-two. Not overly exciting. Pretty evenly matched. They had a little more possession. We had a little more shots. Um, but for the most part, we're both mid-table, bottom half of the table. Um, Stones, Asher's Wood, Maresfield, they're at the top. West Hothley's, our, our victory over them doesn't seem all that impressive now since they're 0-4. But we were treated with the Brian Hall Challenge Cup first round draw. I didn't know we were going to have this. Basically one day it just came out and you're like, hey, uh, first round draw, okay, you play tomorrow. So we're going to play this game and then I'll probably skip over the Fair Warp and then play our second round against Bolney Rovers, which is three tiers above us. So that should be a good match to sort of see how strong our squad actually is. Um, some transfers to talk about. I brought in three more players, Joe Harrison, Neil Lazarus, and Ollie Hotchkiss. I'll go over them in just a second. I've also released a couple because, our, like I said in the last episode, our squad is getting a little bloated. So Nathan Aerosmith, Elliot Hards, Angus Webb, and Carl Godfrey, and I just didn't see them ever really featuring much in the first team and instead of them sitting on the bench and maybe causing some trouble as the season wears on in terms of lack of playtime, um, I tried to pick up some younger players or just, you know, if they are going to be reserve players, I obviously will prioritize the younger players over them. Um, Ollie Hotchkiss is already hurt despite not playing for us yet, but let's take a look at Joe Harrison. Winger, some passing, some technique, works hard, dribbles, um, can kind of cross the ball, but most of all, he's just got some pace, which seems to be relatively important at this play level, or at this competition level. Neil Lazarus, um, not overly good in anything. A little bit older, but you can see he's fairly versatile and can just play everywhere. And this is just something you want, just someone who can just sit on the bench as a sub, because in the 22nd tier, you only get five subs. So someone who can play pretty much everywhere kind of um, can help you out quite a bit. Ollie Hotchkiss we took from Bishop Auckland, um, sort of a well-rounded, he is probably our best central midfielder at this point. His marking's not great, but he can tackle, he can pass, heavy, uh, high work rate, good teamwork, decent first touch, and some stamina. Um, like I said, not a great player by any means, but at this level, no one is a great player. Um, but with Callum Woods actually hurt, our other central midfielder, uh, Willescroft, Parsons, and... Where'd he go? Hotchkiss, when he is fit, they're both injured, but um, we can have some rotation and sort of see who is strong as the season goes on. Kelvin Sullivan is back from his injury. Not a whole lot to write home about, but he is a sort of different type of striker as opposed to Salmon and Houghton, who are both poachers. Kelvin Sullivan is more of a target man, so just offers us some different options up front. Um, anything else to talk about is Mick Dodds. Brought him up from our uh, youth team, uh, the under-23s, I basically just depleted them. There's not really much of a point. Uh, our squad's not big enough. We have a couple players uh, down here who just really aren't good enough, but I decided to bring up McDodds because he actually has some ability. He's a good free kick taker, can take corners, has some determination, leadership, teamwork, work rate. He's decently talented from an offensive standpoint. Might be able to develop him. The physicals are a little worrisome, but he might get better over time, and we'll see how that goes. So um, we're going to be jumping to our first game. Well, apparently I forgot to hit record. I usually try and cut it up so I don't have one large video file, and I forgot to hit record again, so maybe I'll have to stop doing that. But we lost, and it was really boring. 
we didn't have any possession. 40%, not a whole lot of shots, not a whole lot of highlights. It was really disappointing. So, I did say we were going to get two games in this episode, and that is what we shall do. So we're going to be playing Fair Warp um, out of the Brian Hall Challenge Cup, which is fine. Um, but let's look at the team. So, different tactic this time. I've had enough. Um, apparently he played for our reserve team. Awesome. But Ray can come in. So, different tactic this time. I've moved to a 4-1-2-1-2. The diamond. Just to see... I, I don't know. we got to try something different. We're not getting any possession whatsoever. Dodds actually looked pretty good as a creative force for the little bit that I brought him on um, as a central midfielder against uh, Marisfield, so we'll see what happens. Parsons, Willis-Croft. Willis-Croft is really tired, not really fit. Darren Clark is going to get the start as a ball-winning ball, ball midfielder, playing a defensive role. Back line's fairly similar. Um, we have Ray Keo in. Some changes... Not a whole lot in terms of our substitutions. Callum Woods, Ollie Hotchkiss, almost back from injury. Carl Stone, almost back from injury as well. So, um, we're going to be trying to... This this whole match is just about, let's just have some of the ball, all right? So, retain possession, exploit the middle, work the ball into the box, and see what we can do. So, here we have... All right, 100% possession. This is what I wanted. Oh, just knocking it down the field. Way to go, Dodds. The Dodds, Norris, sorry. That's not what we wanted. We want to retain the ball. Some sustained pressure here. We have 57% possession. Getting some shots. This may be where we want to go from here. Um, Clark with the ball. Plays it into Parsons. Parsons over to Sullivan. Sullivan with a drive just wide. Getting some chances. Decent ball movement. Norris just standing there. Having a little dance. Woodley takes the ball. Plays it to Mayman. To Marlowe. Fair Warp, we're going to try and put something together here. Tomorrow in the front. They're passing the ball around really nicely, but the shot goes wide. For the most part, if we can keep their chances outside the box, I feel pretty good about them not hitting the net and Grundy being able to handle them. Um, if they're able to you know, get, on, get a hold of one, I, I can't be all that upset. Dodds, our free kick specialist, puts it wide. These are the games we need to win well over there. We can't fall behind too early in the league. The, the league is not very long. The, there's only 11 teams in this division. We play everyone twice, so 20 matches. And only the top two go to the next division. Off the post. And then tipped wide by Benjamin there. Ricochets. Salmon almost had another goal. Dodds fires in the corner. And that's typical, all right? We have all those corners. Three corners, nothing. They get their first one in the back of the net, and we're down we're down one nil at home. It doesn't really feel like home. I think we have, what, 15 spectators there on the one side? It's a very empty stadium. Capacity is 1,000, but uh, we can count them. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I, it just hasn't been good enough. Um, we're doing what I want, and that is holding the ball a little more, but it's just nothing is coming of it. They've had one chance. Oh, Callum. Demotivated. Maybe I was too hard on him, but we gotta see. We gotta have something else in the second half. We can't afford to be dropping points. Who do we have? Put in Purdue. It's Purdue. Can he even do anything? It's not much in the middle. Houghton. Okay, so I'm thinking we bring Houghton in as poacher. Drop Dodds back to sort of a, a, a playmaker role. Um, keep our midfield pretty much the same. We can move Clark up there, play a similar role. And then Peter Grant. Now, why am, he, he's a center back. But if you look at his abilities, he can fill this type of a role. He can win the ball and play a nice, easy pass. And I, one of the games earlier, I brought him in as a central midfielder, mid, central midfielder, and he did okay. So we'll see how this works out for us. We have possession here. Starting from the back, Norris plays it up towards Salmon. Can't get it complete. Clark plays it forward to Houghton. Houghton down to Salmon. Salmon puts it way wide. Dodds down to Houghton. Here we go. He's got some chance. 
Houghton puts it way wide of the net again. We're just snatching at our chances here. We have nine shots off target, 11 total, three half chances. Just haven't been able to put anything together. Got to go for goal. We're at home. Start playing it forward. We're going to go more direct, pump it into the box. I don't care if we exploit the middle. Um, early crosses. Arturs can whip this in, could cause some problems. Norse plays up to Salmon, and here we may have something building. Salmon over to Dodds. Dodds plays it up to Houghton. Houghton right at the keeper. It's good ball movement, just couldn't put it in. A little too far out for... Didn't get enough on his header there. This could be our final chance. 30 seconds left into Dodds. Dodds dispossessed. Parsons well wide, and that might do it for us. We only have 20 seconds left on the clock. Oh... Five games into the season, we may be sitting down in seventh place. And I can't, like, obviously, I'm not going to tell them this. Callum, you are uh, unambitious. I think that's the problem. We need to get rid of you. Um, we have ambitions with this club, Callum. Uh, we may have to just sort of power on, I think. Like, we had more possession. We had more shots. This is the type of football that I, I'm, I'm hoping they'll be playing. Um, so I don't think we're going to be changing much moving forward. Obviously, the loss is disappointing, but it's still fairly early in the season. We have, you know, a lot of games ahead of us. Well, not really. We have 15 games ahead of us to try and get into the top two positions so we can get promoted. So there's still quite a bit of time. Obviously, I have faith with the, the talent that this squad has compared to the rest of the league. So I, I think the, the narrow... 4-4-2 diamond should work out well for us unless something drastically changes. So um, just keep on keeping on and we'll uh, see you at the Junior Cup second round against Bolney Rovers and see what we can have there. Fans confident of another big win. So uh, that's some more disappointment ahead for everyone, I'm sure. Okay, so with Hotchkiss and Woods back from their injuries, only one change in our... Two changes. Three. Two changes in our lineup today. Hotchkiss is going to take place of Willis-Croft in the middle. Um, Davidson, I've had enough of Calum Norris complaining so much, so Davidson's going to get the start at the back. He's a natural center back, so we just really need them to play defense, right? Just play defense, let it go up through the middle, and hopefully we can get something at the end. Houghton will come off the bench again when Sullivan once again proves himself to be unable of doing anything useful. Um, we got to give him a chance. Give him a chance. Give him a chance. He's not even match fit yet, so we'll see how this goes. Early ball. Hotchkiss gets an early touch in his career. Parsons over to Salmon. Good ball movement to start. Hotchkiss back to Parsons. Parsons looking for a leading ball in. Gets tackled from behind. That looked like two feet. Was that two feet? No, it wasn't. Here comes Sullivan. Plays a poor pass over to Salmon, so he can't really break away. But Hotchkiss keeps possession. Over the top to Sullivan. Sullivan tries a volley. Very ambitious from him. Goes wide, but good ball movement here. Getting some chances. That's what I like to see. Can the Rovers swing this in and make something of this? Taylor cuts it out easily there to Sullivan. Sullivan with a lot of space. Plays it up. Salmon with all the pace in the world. In on goal by himself. Puts it in the back of the net. That's too easy. Uh, up one nothing, and we've lost the uh, possession. Maybe we do. Maybe we just need less possession. Keeps being proven to me. But Salmon just has a lot of pace. Pokes it. Uh, not a good shot by any means. Puts it right in the middle of the net, but uh, the goalkeeper can't handle it. Possession given away in the middle. Mew. Must be special. Over to Fishwick. Fishwick down the line. Plays it into the box. Keen over to Woodlake. Over to Mew. Easy. That's a great ball movement there. Way too easy. And Jack Mew equalizes in the 17th minute. And that's their first chance. And it's in the back of the net. Not a whole... You know, we're flooding over... Overcompensating almost. But that's just an easy tap in for Mew there. Can't complain about the goalkeeping. Maybe could have come out and intercepted the initial cross, but... Not a whole lot can be done. So we had the lead for less than a minute before Mew and the Rovers came back. Sullivan plays it up to Dodds. Dodds in alone. Good save by Dodds, but good ball movement. Mew again. Keo dispossesses him. Sullivan up to Salmon. Salmon in by himself. 
plays it across goal, far post. Very difficult angle there, actually, but he's got his second of the match, sixth goal of the season, and we are back on top in the 34th minute. 33rd, 34th minute. Just rips it right across goal. To both of his goals with his left foot today. Keeping possession here. Hotchkiss, Clark, over to Keo. Hotchkiss back to our full back. Keeping possession here. Hotchkiss has looked good in his debut. Fairly solid keeping possession of the ball. Lost to Kabaki. Way to clear that back up. We're doing well keeping the ball and limiting the counter chances. That's offside. Now Hotchkiss with the ball. Plays it to Dodds. To Parsons. Salmon looking for a key pet breakthrough. Can't get it done. Hotchkiss finds some space to Dodds. Through to Salmon and looking for the hat trick there, but Dawes with a good save. And we get a penalty from that. I guess he was holding on to him there. We have Taylor going up for it. We'll see who it's going to be Dodds taking the penalty to send us 3 1 up right at the death of the first half. And he puts it in the back of the net. Sullivan over to Salmon. Oh, that was a very nice play. Third assist for Sullivan. Third goal for Salmon. 4-1. And uh, this is the type of football that I was expecting this team to be playing, given how heavily favored we are in so many of our matchups. This 4-4-2 uh, diamond seems to, be, seems to be the antidote to our possession woes, our attacking woes. And there's not much else I can say about this match. I'm uh, making three substitutions here. Parsons, Salmon, and Kabaki are all coming off. Peter Grant, Callum Woods, and Peter Houghton. Is it Peter Houghton? <laughs> Still don't know all their names. Peter or Paul. Um, to get some fitness. They're not all match fit yet. So with the game well in hand, look to get some action. And there we have full time at Ad Astra Park. Kell Independent 4 and... Bolney Rovers won. Not much to say except for well done after a domination like that. We still only had 10 shots, but we made the most of them. Had the bulk of the possession, really stifled any sort of comeback attempts from Bolney Rovers. Ryan Salmon, the obvious man of the match, with a hat trick. Um, his striking partner, Kelvin Sullivan, had three assists. That partnership seems to be coming together fairly well. Houghton looks like our third choice striker moving forward. So with that victory, uh, Kell Independent moves into the third round of the Mid-Sussex Junior Cup, and we will see who we are drawn against. It's a um, fairly large assortment of teams, and we will be taking on AFC Bolnor from the 7th Division of Mid-Sussex Football. So our next two cup games come on October 29th. Um, still undetermined, we have that draw coming up. And then the third round of the Mid-Sussex Junior Cup on December 3rd against AFC Bolnor. In the meantime, we have a couple of league games. Each of them is sort of divided by um, runs of, th of three matches in a row on either side of these cup matches. So, um, as I said earlier, I'll probably play the three league games and then just give us the cup matches so we can move fairly quickly through this save and hopefully ascend once again through the various tiers of English football. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like at the bottom or subscribe, um, and I will see you next time.